Welcome! My name is Ruben Saras and I'm going to show you how to set up your alerts with Stream Elements. So the first thing you're going to do is you go to the Stream Elements website and you go to the My Overlays section right here. Then we create a blank overlay. It will default to a 1920 by 1080p. So we can click start. That is the default resolution. If you want another resolution, that is the time to change it. So to set up your main alerts, you need something that's called an alert box widget. Now you can get this button or you click on the big plus button. We'll go and click on the plus button. It says alerts right here and alert box right here. Okay, so we're going to set up the main alert box. We click on it and you instantly get all these options in the left menu. So basically your alert box is already set up right now. I will show you. You can test your alerts within stream elements by clicking on this emulate button down here and click the alert that you want to test. So now we're going to test the follow alert. And there it is. So these are the basic alerts already set up for you as soon as you create an alert box. So it's actually really easy to set up alerts, but if you want to customize it, then it's going to take a little bit of extra work, but we'll show you how to do that right now. Okay. So we're here. We have the follow alert, which is turned on in this alert box. Some people have multiple alert boxes for different events, <clears throat> but we uh, keep everything in the same box today. So we're going to adjust the follow alert. We click on the little cogwheel right here. And we can change the video or we can set an image. So if we set an image, you get this menu here. You can upload all your own stuff to the stream elements cloud and you can use it everywhere within the editor. So let's upload a new image. So I'm going to show you how to do an image and I'm going to show you how to do a, uh, a GIF or a animated alert uh, follower new follower because this is the follow um, alert so I made this like two years ago but uh, it comes in handy right now so I'll upload it to the website like this and then we can submit it here so as you can see now we have a new image and if we hit save overlay name default alerts tutorial and we hit save. Now we can emulate the follow event and it will show the new box. The thing now is we want this text to be in here. So what we're going to do is we're going back to the left side. We click on text over image like this text over image. Now this way it should show it on top of the alert, hmm, which it doesn't. Let's go to the text settings. Now we go into the advanced text settings and we put the top margin to 100. As you can see really vague here. The text comes down. It was too high up, so it didn't show earlier. Okay, we hit save now. And now we're going to try to emulate the event again. And it's in the box right now. So with these margins in the advanced text manager, you can place where you want to have the text. So for example, if I put right at uh, like 500, we hit save and we emulate it again. It creates a margin of 500 to the right side of the alert box. So it moves it to the left. 
as you can see right here. And if we get rid of that 500 and hit save, it will be back in the center like this. Okay. So that's the advanced text settings. And that's where you can move the text uh, on the alert. If it doesn't show up like it did with me, then put the top margin to 100 and you can move from there. Just testing it and see where you want to have it. Of course, you can enable a custom font or you can just install a custom font on your PC. Uh, for example, I have the uh, permanent marker, which I use a lot on my streams. You can just uh, get it in here as well. Hit save. And let's see if it changed. It changed to, to the permanent marker. Um, to the permanent marker font. But that's nice. You can use all kinds of fonts. Google fonts, custom fonts. Uh, it's no problem to use them at all within the stream elements alert box. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to do a video instead of a still image. If you have a computer that's not really good for streaming, then you might want to stick to static alerts because of course, when we do an animated alert, it takes a bit more power from your PC because it has to render the actual video. But we're going to set something up real quick. We're going to upload a file, a uh, simple follow. I got this, I believe from Sam Woodhall, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's submit that. Okay. So now we will check the follow alert again, and it will now play a short animated thing. But as you can see, the text is not on the right place. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the text down to like 250. That should be good. Let's see if it's better now. That's more like it. Okay. So the text is now in the correct place, but now we want to add a delay to when the text shows up. As you can see here, it first does this little explosion and then it gives the heart. So we want to have the name and the message a little bit later. So now we're going to animation settings right here in the bottom left. We'll click on that text appearance delay and we'll set that to uh, 1.5 seconds. Hit save just to make sure. And now as soon as the explosion is gone, it pops up. So that's what you want. You can adjust it to whatever you like. I'm just showing you where to do it. You can also do an enter animation and exit animation. So it hops into the, into the screen from left to right. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set up a different variation of an alert. For example, the subscriber alert. We click on the cogwheel. This is the default subscriber alert. So if we now test it, it will just give a subscriber alert. Now, if we go to the bottom left, there is a variation settings tab right here. If we click that here, you can see all the variations you have on that uh, particular event. So we have a resubscriber alert, a subscriber gift alert for when someone gifts a sub to someone else or a community gift where they are giving multiple gifted subs, like for, for example, five, six or seven uh, subs. So let's make a new one so you can see how to set it up. Add new variation, variation name, uh, copy alert box subscriber. Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is where you can set up very specific alerts for specific events. 
So for example, if you want an alert for only Twitch Prime subs, then you are going to do this. You go to subscription tier, then you go to exact and put it on prime. Chance 100%. And now when you save this, the alert you make in this uh, variation, that will only play when someone has a Twitch Prime sub. So if we change the video, we upload another file, a simple sub, and we are going to set that only for the Twitch Prime uh, subscription. Again, here you have all the options available, which you also have for the normal um, alerts. So let's put uh, the permanent marker for font in it as well. We'll set the top margin to, I believe it was 250, but I want to be at 200. Um, text appearance delay was set to 1.5 I believe and we do text over image so it should be good now let's see yes we set everything up we want to make it a uh, a red color for example and we click on save variation so now you can see this just popped in copy of alert box one subscriber. You can change the name. Of course, this is a new variation when prime is exactly prime. That's what it says. If we go to emulate subscriber event, we go to custom and we put in here tier prime amount one submit. Now it plays this alert for the Twitch Prime. And if you have a normal subscription like this, it will just play the normal alert. So that's basically how you set it up. I will now show you how you how to put your alert box inside of OBS. We can click on this little paperclip thing or the chain chain link. It automatically clips it to your clipping board. Now we're going to go to OBS. So now we're going to put the alert box into the overlays on OBS. So we're going to open a browser source. We're going to create a new one. We'll call it alert tutorial. Hit OK. It will pop up this little window. We're going to replace this for the stream elements URL. We're going to set the dimensions to 1920 by 1080 because that's the default resolution of the stream elements overlay. We'll give it a custom frame rate of 60. This is not needed, but I always want to have at least 60. You can delete this message and we hit shut down source when not visible that will make it so that when you change to another scene you don't get the alerts playing twice if you have the alert box uh, also on your other scene in obs so hit that and then hit okay now when we go to the stream elements website and we hit the emulate button and we hit the subscriber event it will now also display it in OBS like this, as you can see. And that's basically it. The most difficult part actually is the variations. People forget about them or um, don't know how to actually make them. But as you can see, it's really not that different from uh, tinkering with your normal variation with the default ones so you're good to go thank you for watching if you have any more questions i will always be in the stream elements discord link will be down in the description make sure to like the video 
if you thought that this helped you out a bit and uh, i hope you uh, have a happy stream take care